So I want to thank Golden Nugget Casino for sponsoring today's video. But if you don't get on the bison and, and jump ahead, you can lose them really fast. They go downhill really quick. I'm not sure what's going on, but she still has both of them. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Rivers Bison. I'm Dusty. Wife is hanging out inside the nice warm truck. It's cold, it's wet. It's a great day to dart some bison. Yes, that's what I'm doing. You heard me. We're gonna dart some heifers with the Big Joe herd. Join us along. First thing we gotta do is we gotta run to the local feed store, get some dewormer, and hopefully some more darts. Go we'll see if we can find some darts. It's not looking great. I'll show the new guy. Everybody asked, what is the new puppy? Bullet. He is a little dachshund, long haired dachshund. Cute little fellow. <laughs> He's in sleep mode right now. Yeah. He's in Brooks's vest. He was in there to say, yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sweet. He's good. He's in sleep mode. You can come in. Avamec Plus. We also got our Zydectin 500. We're good to go. Yeah. Got our precious, precious chorus. And try the plane. Oh. There we go. Finally got it, guys. Don't worry about it. It is a soggy. Ponderosa day out here. But hey, that's just my alfalfa cubes, girl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Huh, Cora? Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hey, sweet Charlie. Jackie, let's get this horse some cubes here. Mmm, smells good, Cora. Mmm-hmm. Jackie. No, that's not for you. All right. He's like, oh yeah. Definitely gonna get those. Hey girl. Marissa and I just got back. Got Cora some alfalfa cubes. And I'm gonna step here in the barn. Hello. And we're gonna get the dart gun. Whatever darts we do have, no darts at Stillwater Millen, but we did get our two dewormers. We got, doing whatever Doc says, we got we got Sidectin, which was something I've used before in the past, and then we got Ivermectin Plus. Those are the two he told to get. The bad part about the dart situation is one dart, you know, we've got seven cc's. These cows should weigh eight or 900 pounds. So the problem is, is we only have seven cc darts and then we have three cc because of the whole dart shortage. So with the seven cc, we can put as much in it as possible of either Sidectin or the Ivermectin Plus. So you really need two darts. And that's still not the full amount that they need, but we need to get it in them anyway. So I'm gonna run in here the office real quick. Got the dart gun. These are not worth. These are demos, but here we've got some three CC darts. Yep, right there, three CC darts, and then we have our sevens. We'll get our gun and these seven CC darts and work with that. All right, so Marissa and I ran to the local feed store. We didn't get any darts, no darts, but uh, we got Sidectin and Ivermectin Plus, as Doc requested, or Doc suggested maybe. And now we're going down the pasture along with Bullet, the wiener dog. Um, but we're going back out there. We took care of our chores this morning, gave them two bills of hay. So they should be busy. All we have is seven cc darts. We're gonna load these up and we took notes this morning already on on which heifers we thought needed it the most. And so hopefully we don't get stuck. It is soggy right now, but hopefully 
we can get uh, at least seven cc's um, in them right now is the is the thing I think to me Marissa's getting the gate thankful for that um, but I to me like because of the shortage of darts and stuff right now uh, the important part is um, getting something in them that's the thing with me is uh, to be honest with you these kind of conditions can be hard on these animals it's cold and it's wet and we're getting four or five days of it so I'm not saying putting a dewormer in them right now is going to make them recover that fast. Bison are slow recovers. They take a lot longer than cattle to recover on certain things. Uh, Health-wise, it, it just takes bison a lot longer. So, uh, to me, I feel like we just need to get it in some of the ones that maybe look are struggling. They don't look terrible, but, you know, that's part of this whole thing as uh, you gotta pay attention to animals and we come out here all the time and see them and I've noticed some decline and um, we're doing this now instead of waiting too late because bison do take so much longer to recover. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and get on them now. Good to get ahead of it. Good to get ahead of it because if you don't get ahead of bison, they'll die on you quick. And these conditions like this, it's gonna take a couple of days for that dewormer to start rolling through, I'm sure. Uh, but at least we're trying to jump ahead. So they're uh, they're up here. Go in full wheel drive though. Yep. It is soggy, you can see my tracks from this morning. Not the greatest thing, but I feel like we need to get it in them pretty soon. We're not getting too far off in the pasture. Okay, our notes. Which ones? I think that before we get to work and get these females taken care of, I want to tell you about our sponsor today. What do you think about a Vegas experience, but from your home? I want to tell you about the Golden Nugget online casino you can do everything from your phone did you know that golden nugget now has an online casino app where you can play all your favorite casino games right on your phone with a variety of slot games for you to choose from like cleopatra and fortune coin an assortment of golden nugget exclusives you can play some of your favorite games and hey guess what there are some buffalo games on here just like the ones you can play in the casino new customers all you got to do is put a deposit of a minimum of five dollars. Those are good. Here, just kind of get me. At ten times the play through forward. Dollar to dollar and up to a thousand dollars in bonus funds. All right, guys, you know what to do. If you want to help support us, <laughs> take care of, help us take care of these animals. You can support us, guys, by going and downloading the Golden Nugget online casino right now on your phone. Be sure and use the code cross timber and bring on that Vegas experience right from your phone. see who the the four oh. i kind of circled like or put in next to the main four or five of them what does an end mean needs needs <laughs> it's like, need, need need i would need, look at need. that and think you like no and then p is what pregnant oh yeah. those are my notes I would have those to are my have quick a notes decoding, uh, <laughs> Oh, come on. Give me a break. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't mean if I were just to pick this up. I know. I should have just put a check mark, but. confused on what these things stand for. When I started rolling through and looking at all of them, I was like, oh, maybe they all need it. But there are some that need it worse than others. So we. Uh, we want to prioritize them? I think we need to prioritize them with the only the darts that we have. Because the that's. Darts are a hot commodity. Darts are hot. Darts are a hot commodity. And it is soggy, and so I don't know how much room I'll be able to drive around. See, like 139 out here. She looks pregnant to me. Well, you don't have a pee by that. I think she does. Uh, she's hiding back there. Hello, 32 mama. 
Always giving me the stink eye. Crazy eyes. Crazy eyes, for sure. Okay. Some of them are kind of making their way over. All right, so we got our Avamec Plus. It's an, just an Avermectin. This is, since uh, we've used, since I've never used this, and this feels like it's pretty important, obviously. I'm gonna, we have to draw out first. So we need seven cc's. Seven so cc's we'll because get, you have a seven cc dart, correct? We have a seven cc dart. Okay. You say seven? I didn't think that was the right. So all we've got. So actually, what, what I'm thinking is these cows are gonna weigh. They may be on the latter end right now. These are two year old heifers. Uh, we'll be three this spring, and so <clears throat> they should weigh close to about 900 pounds they may be a little bit lighter because of their worm load basically these darts are one one and done basically we have to basically inject them back in so i've got my seven cc's got my seven cc dart and you have to put it in here oh man my needles Let's see if this works too big By this time, I just realized that I don't have the correct size of needle to inject the dewormer into the dart. So we ran back to the barn where I did have what I think was a proper needle to use for the dart. By the time we got back to the barn, we realized it was time to go pick up Brooks from school. So we had to go do that. Pause. Give me a pause. Yeah, oh yeah. Got the ranch hand <laughs> now. Partner in crime over there next to you. Got our top hand snacking and our darts. Operation, let's try this again. <sighs> Got someone uh, gonna say hello. Hey, Big Joe. What's up, buddy? Big Joe. Big Joe. What's happening, buddy? Do you think Bullet's scared of Big Joe? Hey, what do you think, Bullet? The bison? Hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know about those guys. Scary. All right. Here we go. Maybe we can. And seven actually. Let me set that there. Come back on. I'm wondering what in the world is going on. Y'all been out here how many times today? Yeah. More than normal. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Easy with him, babe. Easy with him. There's one, 113. She's not bad. 116 right there. Yeah, she must be. Uh... She's big. She looks healthy to me. Good. There's one up here. Kind of flappy a little bit, Dusty. She kind of what? In the back. Uh, one seventeen. What picture did you take and send the dog? Which one was it? May have been her. She's... It's okay. Um, uh, I don't like. It. Hey, buddy. What's up, Big Joe? Hmm? What's he doing? He's just checking us out. I don't know what we're doing. Hey, look my knees! Alright, 
you film up close so we know where it hits her. Okay. Yeah, but she's at a bad angle. Okay. Let me try to do something real quick. Move this big guy out of the way. Alright, now step over here. A little low. Needs to be higher. So what we have to do is you see where that falls? Yeah. That gummit. I needed five injections, not four. I was trying not to put too much on it, but. Five injections? Five pumps? Five pumps, sorry. Five pumps is what I was trying to do. Well, if it's seven cc's, it'll take a minute for it to fall out, hon. Remember last time when we did it, the. Yeah, the smaller dosage fell out quicker. Because of how it, in, you know, injects. I'm assuming. I don't really know, but it doesn't even hardly seem to bother. Yeah, she's still got it. All right, I got our new one here. Adectin. Just gave her Avamec Plus. She's looks to Marissa and I the worst one in the group. So, she's gonna get the dart first. Still hadn't fallen? That gum. We're gonna go, that, we did four pumps last time. Okay. So we got one, uh, we got seven cc's of the Avamec in her on her right hip now we're gonna go we're gonna shoot on the other hip so i'm gonna move a little bit I'm trying to position myself all the other boss are kind of watching so that shot was too low i will admit that i guess i didn't have enough pumps in it but right here we're gonna shoot through here if she don't move real quick I can't see her, hon. Dropped again. Maybe I need to pump it more. <laughs> it got her, both almost in the same two spots. Joe's trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, look at him. I'm gonna check her out. So you can kind of see her body language. It's a cold, wet day. I mean, I would look like that too if it was cold and wet. But if you look at her body language, her head is down, kind of mopey looking. Um, you look at the rest of them, their heads are up. And um, she just, she looks unpleasant, basically. And so she's definitely the 
wormiest looking one out of all of them part of it but yeah you can kind of see it in their eyes so hopefully get a jump start on it and big joe he cares he's coming to check on her so it's good but another sign of uh needing to be wormed possibly again is when they haven't shed all their hair and you can see her right shoulder part of her hump there's uh some hair left where she hadn't shed right here so we're gonna go ahead and dart her too just in case she didn't look terrible but we're gonna go ahead and dart her just in case <clears throat> but these darts are still in them I'm a little worried about it last time when we darted Dunbar they were out in like less than a minute it's been about I don't know five or ten minutes now and they're still in yeah she definitely needed it though Christy's huge. Six pumps, you heard that, right? It help if I take it off? Take it off of safety. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this other one. We didn't, we didn't paint them pink, but thought about it after the fact, right? See that one out there that's turned up towards us? This is side deck, then remember that. Okay? Man, I cannot hit high enough. Sure, do you knock it out? Yep. That's not good, is it? Leave her with seven cc's of Avamec. That's 120. That's 105. 105. Okay, so 105 got um, Avo plus. I don't want to overdo her, which is probably fine that they have calves on. Go out there and ask her if she would turn around real quick for me. <laughs> I need the other hip. Uh, oh, maybe she can give it to you. That was the hip we shot her on the first time, right? I'm pretty sure. You can go back and watch it. I'm pretty sure it did. If you go, if you come right here in front of the truck, hon, you might have a decent shot. Dusty, get back in the truck, please. She's coming in hot. She did not like that one. It's crooked. The needle? Yeah. Yeah, she may have stepped on it or something, but she's still running and gunning. <laughs> oh gosh. So lesson of the day is uh every uh every bison takes it different. The first one didn't even hardly react. So she uh she must have known that she needed it. And somehow animals do that sometimes. Uh that one was uh did not like it at all both injections both each hip reacted the same the last one's pretty spunky she's still running <laughs> but good thing is is we got all the darts except the very first one and i think that's going to be my fault because i didn't pump it up enough and so i'm not sure what's going on but she still has both of them currently right now i think it's the what was that cow number what was her number the first cow was I know all these numbers and stuff. Okay, so the first one we got was 138 and then 128 and then 105. Now 105 has a 
calf, so we just gave her Avamec Plus 128, the one that just had a lot of fun, got both, both hips, Psydactin and Avamec Plus. Yeah, I need to add that to my notes, so there we go. Got those three, top three treated at least. Everybody's chilled out. They're all still wondering what the heck we're doing in their pasture roaming around like this so the good thing is is we got darts except the two and i'm a little worried about it so. if you hit them too hard hold on a second Ooh, it is a muddy mess what a muddy mess what a day marissa and i started this day taking a look at these females writing down which ones we thought were in the worst shape and I've seen a lot worse bison. These animals are in not terrible, terrible shape. But like we explained earlier, if you don't get a jump start on the ones that maybe have a decent parasite load, if you don't get on the bison and, j and jump ahead, you can lose them really fast. They go downhill really quick. You, you gotta jump on it, basically. And that's what we did today. We reacted, we got darts, we got more darts, got the uh, a couple of new dewormers. We always use uh, Sidectin, but Ivamec Plus is a new one for us. So got some of these females taken care of. So now it'll just be a process of watching them over time and making sure that they're getting better and keeping an eye on them. We'll keep an eye out on the one that they still haven't come out. So we'll keep you updated with that. Um, it's one of those things that they still haven't came out and uh, we'll just have to find them in the pasture, hopefully at some point. Well, the good thing is there's not a lot of grass, so it shouldn't have a problem finding them. But uh, we're, uh, uh, that's locked up. Me and the girls are ready to go home, have some dinner. But uh, I also want to thank Golden Nugget Casino for sponsoring today's video, guys. Thank you. If you guess is a great way to support us, guys. And it's easy because you can do it right from your phone. All new folks that sign up, you get your deposit match and you get up to $1,000 in bonus funds. Guys, use the code Cross Timber. You can get Vegas right here from your phone. Thank you guys for watching us today. We'll see you guys soon. Keep on bossing ranching.